Hi guys, tonight I'm gonna be showing you my lean chicken cottage curry. Did I say that right? Cottage cheese lean chicken curry. Lean cottage cheese chicken curry, there it is. Also, you like our cabinet? It broke, we gotta fix it. <laughs> Been a little too aggressive when I opened the cabinet, eh? Anyways, lean cottage cheese chicken curry. For this recipe, I'm not gonna be using any oils, I'm not gonna be using yogurt, I'm not gonna be using sour cream, Bruh. or anything like that, no butter. Keeping it basic, trying to be healthy. So with that being said, let's jump into it. I'm gonna show you what I have, and then I'm gonna go through my process and how I do this. First up, I got my chicken, my rice. I use jasmine rice. I know a lot of people use basmati, but I like the taste of jasmine and it's all I have, so we're going with that. For my seasonings, I have a chicken curry blend, and I'm also gonna be using a little bit of garlic powder, add a little extra flavor in there. I have pink Himalayan salt, and then I'm gonna use black pepper too, because that helps activate the turmeric a little more too. For my side, I have broccoli. Oh, I forgot to mention, I'm making mine in pops, so I've gotta be careful how I do this. Did I say the chicken? Seasoning, black pepper, chicken. I'm also gonna be throwing some onions in the pan when I cook the chicken, and I have my cottage cheese, which is one serving. At the end of this, I'll throw up the macros for those who are interested, the protein content, the carbs, the fats, all the good stuff. Okay, what I'm gonna do first is, I'm gonna throw my broccoli in the microwave. I always pre-cook it because this is frozen broccoli, and frozen broccoli is fine. I know a lot of people opt in for fresh broccoli, but the thing is, this is actually better for you because it's picked and frozen right away, which is called flash freezing. When they do that, it holds in more of the nutrients, but I'm gonna destroy some of those nutrients by heating it so much. So it's going in the microwave for three minutes, and then we'll put that to the side, and then we'll pick that up later. I like to put salt in my rice water, and then I stir it up. I don't rinse jasmine rice. If this were like a long grain brown rice, I would wash it because that does need cleaned a little more but this is fine. So while I'm doing the rice, I like to prep my chicken a little more too. I sprinkle that with salt, sprinkle it with some pepper too. This pepper grinder sucks. <laughs> I tend to go heavier on the salt and the pepper because I like to do it on one side and then I get that one side really seared. And once this is done cooking, I'm gonna take the chicken, put it to the side, deglaze my pan a little bit, throw that water into my broccoli bowl and then put a little bit of that water back in my skillet and I'm gonna put the chicken back in and then the onions and then I'm gonna put the cottage cheese in and then I'm gonna sprinkle the garlic powder and then the curry powder and I'm gonna make the sauce. <laughs> and once that's done, I'm gonna pour it on top of the rice and then I'm gonna put my broccoli back in the pan with the remaining deglazed water because that's where all the flavor is. Eh, that's my favorite way to do it. And then I'm gonna plate it up and I'll show you guys what we have. Okay, I did forget something, limes. I always sprinkle lime juice in my jasmine rice. Chef's kiss, eh? Oh, what do you know? Something else I forgot to mention, cooking spray. Eh? I just moved my rice to the back burner. I don't leave it off completely once it comes to a simmer and a boil. I feel like it doesn't cook to my liking. So I put it on the back on low and then I transfer my skillet onto the front burner. Same thing I do with my eggs. I always put water in the bottom of the pan and wait till that starts boiling. That tells me the pan's hot enough. We're not gonna cook the chicken fully like I would otherwise because it's gonna slow cook in the sauce a little bit too. So the chicken's been on there for about five to six minutes. I'm actually gonna take this out. That's gonna go in the oven on warm, just so it stays warm while I finish cooking everything else. And now we deglaze the pan. Almost forgot to fluff the rice. We're getting there. My meat's actually simmering right now in my sauce that I made. I still have enough deglazed water. <laughs> it still feels so weird saying that. For my broccoli, check this out, Pops. Bring it in, look at that. Tell me that's not delicious looking. Ooh. So we're gonna let this finish. Then I'm going to get Pops' is finished as well. Plate it, show you guys the final product, tear it up. And then I'll probably pick it up in two minutes when I realize I forgot to mention something. This is my lean cottage cheese, chicken curry and broccoli. Here's the macros. Eh? This meal comes out to a total of 844.4 calories, 79.6 grams of protein, 102.7 grams of carbs, 8.7 grams of fat. Yeah, buddy. Chef Swan does it again, huh? Well, I like to think I do. <laughs> See you guys soon. Time for dinner. <laughs> 